TV vlogs, back with another hot topic. So you know, in the night, yeah, we have a few topics. I really want to discuss with you guys. So if you are new to the channel, don't forget now to subscribe to the channel. That's it can go with you guys. Turn on your post notification bell. So you know, so as I drop a new vids, you guys first get notified. And you also can follow me on Instagram at TV vlogs gmail.com so you know i'm not afraid to give you guys the news the reviews and the updates and what i want in the country and about so make we kick it off right away the bodies of a mother and her son were found at their home in providence christiana manchester this morning they have been identified as 52 year old altia row and 35 year old Clean Palmer. The discovery was made around 11 a.m. by relatives and police. Family members say they become concerned after they were unable to get in contact with the mother and the son since last week Saturday. The double murder is under investigation. So basically, people, the police, am still approve the whole situation. You understand? Because it's a case like this now, you know, so it's a very serious case, you understand? Because two family members live in one yard and, you know, the two of them just lost them three points and nobody know what really go down, you understand? So police still investigate the whole situation, you understand? But I tell no people, say, yo, every day you wake up, the thing I get more drastic. And drastic out there. You understand? I do a vlog today and I talk about that man over there in Mavis Bank. Last in three points over a hundred dollar bill. So tell me now, people, what a hundred dollar bill can buy in a Jamaica? Huh? A Jamaican hundred dollar note, what it can buy here in Jamaica? I tell you, people, say, yo. The thing really, I get drastic and drastic every single year we live. Huh? Tell me, you are a man in an altercation and you take a man life just for your hundred dollar note. Huh? When you go to a shop, a hundred dollar note cannot buy anything at the shop, but you can take a man life for it. Huh? The things that are weird, my people. So, I'm going to post a little small clip on the channel so you can hear one of the family members about the whole situation. My sister was a good, good person. I don't know how she, she it seemed to me like she did the wrong place at the wrong time mm -hmm. because it's sad to notice she really coming at this. And if my sister did call me and tell me, say, she had to move from where she did live, come up here, I'd tell her I don't come here. Is this, is this area like a bad area or just I like don't know if it's a bad area, area but uh, uh, from me come up here since morning I don't like the place. Mm -hmm. I would never live up here so. You just have to No, I would never. Remote. I don't know how she come up here and come stay overnight and pass in debt. It's really sad. Really, really sad. But I just left everything in a good hand because nobody knows what happened. So people basically hear the sister attack about her sister. Well, I don't hear she say anything about her sister's son. So it really sound a way. I'm just speculating. That is just my opinion. You understand? So I don't want you guys to interpret it the wrong way. That is just my opinion. So moving right along, people. I swear the St. James police have charged a man for an illegal firearm 
a St. James businessman was found with an illegal possession of a firearm and ammunition. A 28-year-old Richard Downey, a businessman of Westgate in St. James, was slapped with gun charge on Monday after an illegal firearm and ammunition were found in his car. According to the Montego Bay Police, about 9 p.m., a joint police military team was conducting a spot check along Garden Crescent in Granville in the same parish. One Toyota Corolla Axio motor car being driven by Downey was signaled to stop. He complied and a search of the vehicle was conducted. One Glock 9mm pistol with a magazine containing 6 9 millimeter rounds were found during the search people the man named take one more illegal firearm off of the street right and them take it off of the street and them are carried to a station go put down right so sooner or later you hear to the same firearm the, the back upon the street why the man them stop demolish the firearm them but really I wonder what make the man them stop demolish the firearm them because tell me now people you seize a weapon off of the street right and you carry it to the station go put down you know if you that same firearm them, I go reach back the street by one of your fellow members one of your police friend or your police co-worker uh, one of them, enough he say, you're going to go read back upon the road. If he say, yeah, them going to the start demolish back. You understand? So, no, so you take off a firearm off of the street, it now have no return for return back upon the street. So, I have one final topic I really want to touch upon people. Same place down here in a Manchester. So, I go to touch upon that topic here. Yeah right away the manchester police are investigating the circumstance surrounding to a suspected case of murder suicide in mandeville dead are ricky ellis a 42 year old farmer taxi driver and wife stephanie ellis a 43 year old who is said to be a loan officer at a bank in mandeville less than four hours after being called to the scene of a double murder in providence district in manchester this morning the police are acting on missing person report visit the home after the couple there they found the wife in a pool of red red with own to his head upon further investigation the husband was found hanging from a piece of rope back of the house it is said to believe that the couple was having material issues so people tell me now what this a couple could have really have does the man take the lady life and take female after what them could have really got you does the man do something like that why me i tell you people say every day you wake up mankind are to get cooler and cooler against them one another i'm just speculating still you know, because you know i'm not there at the scene so you know me have to speculate because no no we never did it we have to just speculate be yourself on what we hear and be yourself on what the taxi man must say. Well, the taxi man him say, him and the female, they from school days, you understand? And the two of them live loving and them never hear of him in a, any form of altercation with him and his wife, you understand? But the thing really set away my people. And God, I feel like say, with you only him alone can carry our burden and some away out there man i got through some real 
burden only him alone can take us through the burden where we are going through so people remember now for like share comment subscribe hit the post notification bell so you know as me drop a new video you guys first get notified so all who have make it to the end of the video thanks for watching catch up with you guys in the next video